Okay. I have get, again. I'm. I am not sure why all the umbrellas. But we'll bring the market. We'll try to get. I don't know. I'll try to get five bucks. But I think three bucks at the at Stockton. You know, because they're so cheap there. So there's um. There's six plus eight. Fourteen. Three bucks a pop would be good. But ah, uh, geez, that's only like forty-two bucks. It's not that much. T-Mobile Tuesdays. Looks like they had a bunch of giveaway stuff. That's not in there. That is that? No, that's not what we found. Another charger. These look nice. Nun Bush. Brand new. Born in Milwaukee. Those seem a little bit nicer. Oh, there's some newer belts right here. Okay. Bocconi, Nashville, Tahari. These look brand new. That's that's a little bit of value right here. We could sell those. <laughs> Jeez, guys, this is deer stage, deer stags, deer stags. Guy has some big feet. Echo's a good brand. No price on there. Oh, yeah, that's wait. That's not Echo though. Vintage Foundry. 260 bucks. Um, hmm. There's Nordstrom brand. Men's Shop Nordstrom. Again, almost brand new on those. Look at all these nice shoes, guys. You didn't wear any of them very much. A whole bunch of them. The T Mobile giveaway. Wallen and Brothers looks like Sperry Top Siders almost. Brand new. Steve Madden, brand new. Wow. Oh, I was gonna grab something different, but <laughs> it's empty. That what is that? For VHS, I guess. That's what it says. This is not garbage, guys, so don't freak out. Don't be sending me your heat mail. How could you throw all the water? I got I don't have enough uh, bins today, so we're putting stuff in garbage bags and it will go to the flea market. And I only say that because I've got a bunch of complaining pants in the past complaining about that such thing, so I'm just calling it out now, let you know, save you the trouble. Don't run to your keyboard. Ooh, look at this. Brand new. New York, a little bow tie. Tie bow tie uh, pocket hanky. And this one's got a tie and a pocket hanky. U.S. Polo Association. What's this? Paul Mitchell, some more soap. A little better. A scooch better. And right back to garbage. And I got some towels. Oh, we got a few more belts right here. Okay. Yep, a couple more belts. Good. Put that in the good box. More bathroom products uh, from the hotel. Okay. Oh, this is good. Nautica. Brand new socks. Five pairs. Good. I like the brand new stuff. There's a brand new razor right there. That's very good for our auctions. Brand new. Never open. So, yeah. That is good. That's perfect for a little Christmas gift, right? And sip. I don't. None of that looks good to <laughs> me. Okay, what's in here? A security outfit. All right. Hmm. Boots. Five one one. Huh. All right. Oh, there's something in the pockets here, guys. What's in here? Paperwork, pens, more pens. A little sweet and salty nut snack. Fucker nuts. What's this? Uh, some kind of uh, earpiece. Platinum series. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Put that aside. I'll take a look at that later. More pens. I guess in the security world, you need lots of pens. Oh, this is that CPR micro shield. Wait, what is that? We found the other one is in a bag. Hmm, I still don't know. Okay. And a cookie. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I just started my diet. Or else I might. <laughs> I might do something with the locker nut challenge. But 
uh, our storage locker challenge, but no, not today. I gotta be strict. Gotta lose some poundage. It's another security jacket here. That's kind of nice. Ooh, I was gonna say that's kind of nice, but look at the pits on that. It's deodorant stains? Yuck. Okay, a lot of clothes here. I don't think I'm gonna go through them all. I don't, I'm not getting the feel of this stuff, you know? Um, well, that's kind of neat. Those pants with the ducks on it. That's a little different. Who makes that? Polo by Ralph Lauren. Toss a L.O. It's a nice belt. Those I might put aside. Those are kind of different. I kind of like that. I don't know. I put it aside for the better market. I might change my mind. I've been mostly putting just brand new stuff aside. Malibu clothes. Beverly Hills. That's pretty nice. Oh, what? No. It says, what the heck? It says Versace. This does not feel right. Wait, maybe it is. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't think so, but I don't know. Oh my goodness. Could that be real? I'm going to say no. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like leather. It's either like so soft leather. It's hard to believe it's leather or it's not even leather and i think it's not even leather plus it just says versace right here and i don't see any other tags anywhere i think versace would say like made in italy would have some inside taggage this says nothing but i, I don't know it's still kind of cool okay there we go that's what i wanted to see oh how neat paper money this is um all foreign currencies all little little tiny foreign currency bills that they put in this collage to make it look like a, a, a $1 bill, US, paper money. That's kind of a neat piece, I don't know. It's definitely a little different. Okay. White Stag, Action Sports. It's a ski jacket. With some ski pants too. Huh. Size medium. All right, we're seeing a little bit different stuff, but I'm seeing furniture, which I don't really like, but, oh man, what is this? Is this a couch? Oh, that's a couch, that really sucks. Big couch right here, it does look like it might be leather. There's chairs back here. Hmm. What do we got here? Snap hook. Just snap it on, as seen on TV. Hmm. Okay, a little tool set, that'll sell at the market. Latex gloves. And some toothbrushes. Yeah, look at this. Brand new brushes. That one's not brand new, but those two are. Conair, not bad. Kleenex. And we got some tires. Holiday Cheer by J.S. Blank Marshalls. Got a bunch of them. Holiday Cheer, brand new. There's some chones, that's Polo Association, 10 bucks at Ross, size large. They have a, brand, a lot of brand new stuff, I think he bought too much. Arizona jeans, it was a watch, it's gone. And that be it, receipts. Okay, shake the rat poop off. <laughs> that's so gross. And oh, got a box of ties, brand new. Brooks Brothers, 100% silk, hang on. Okay. This looks like it's all brand new ties. Brooks Brothers. Okay, that that will probably want to do something better with. That might be worth a little bit of money right, right there. Okay, what's this? Etion Agner. Doesn't feel super high end though. It looks fancy, but I don't think it really is. Went from SFO to France, it looks like. Some France. Some France trips. Fancy France, they took a trip to Francie. Okay. Okay, there's a towel. <laughs> I think they got a towel bag started here somewhere. Okay. Some more underwears. Some Marshalls. Chair skin. I don't know, guys. Maybe I should put all the underwears in a big lot. Sell them in our auction. I don't know. What we got here? A little fragrance. I think it's U.S. Polo Association, though. The guy has so many business cards. I think he must have networked or something. Mm -hmm. Nice little Starbucks cup. It's kind of nice. Ten dollars, brand new. Jeez. Okay, I thought this felt a little good. 
Look at that, Tommy Hilfiger, a couple of cufflinks right there in this nice box. There must have been something else in here too, maybe. That's a nice, what's this? Oh, a nice wallet. Perry Ellis. No price on it, but it's brand new, leather wallet. Can't go wrong with that. And the case is even super nice too. This is heavy. It's a sticky note dispenser. Okay. Checks. Yeah. All right, and then a bunch more junk mail. Uh, probably should go through this mail a little closer though, just because I had the nicer stuff in there. Just in case, I'll update you if I find an envelope full of cash. I don't like doing that. I like doing it live, but you know, it just looks kind of fake if I start the camera after. But I guess if I was faking, I could have just put it in there and then, then started the camera. But anyways, um, yeah, not too impressed with that. But a couple good things. Oh man, guys, look at that. It's so gross. They had some big fat rats getting in here at some point. Some mints and stuff. Just some swag from a cell phone company. Empty canvas bags, or tote bags rather. Okay, this is patchy. Let's see. Hang up. A bunch of bungee cords. This just looks like another miscellaneous junk box, really. Maybe some photographs. Yes, indeed. Oh, really terrible photographs. <laughs> They're all blurry and out of focus. Okay. Little overnight bags. This is more hotel th uh, thievery here. <laughs> Some people get so upset when I call it thievery, but I do. I, do, I think it's thievery. You take stuff that you don't need. Cost the hotel unnecessarily. I don't. I don't think that's cool, but whatever. There's a, there's something. There's a little trinket box in here. Is what that is. Jingling around. That's actually kind of nice. Looks almost Christmassy. I'll take it home. Whoa, this is a heavy flashlight. Yeah, what we got here? Oh, finally, we got a, a watch. Three, six, 36. 36. Eh, doesn't feel super nice. The band feels cheap. It's not real leather, but. I don't know, the presentation's decent. Still a watch, right? Still a watch. Still a watch. Men's strap watch, $17. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got some photos here. Brand new stuff here. And a bunch more junk mail. Okay, a couple more of these weird things. Jeez, there's a brand new flip phone right here. Brand new Motorola with the... The uh, film's still on it. Never used. I wonder if there's a market for that. Okay, we'll put that aside. Look it up, I guess. There's another one. Similar, but this one's been used. It's got some wear on it. Hmm. I'll let that one go to the market. Another one, Nokia. No, 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 Nokia. Actually, there's no Nokia in this one. Nokia. And we got it this time. A whole bunch of cords and stuff. Okay, I see a base right here. It's a pretty good sized base to a TV. So it's probably a large TV in here somewhere. My guess is that might be it right there. Uh, something's covered with the blanket. That's pretty common. So, hey, let me get, let me try to get some of this out of here, guys. Or, uh, no, right here. Let me try to get some of this out so we can get into this box. And then I really want to get into this right here. This, these, I have luck with these plastic things. So, oh, there's a watch right there. Okay, let's get it. Let me clear this. Wow, look at look at how much rat poop is on here. I haven't seen actually. Look at that. Um, I haven't seen that much rat poop in a while. And I guess in a way that's a good thing. But um, I have said before, rat poop no no longer like grosses me out that much it's, it's actually sometimes my best stuff i find in rat poop lockers i know it's weird okay that looks like all school supply type stuff but we'll have to go through that um it's like sometimes the rat poop deters people from going in Ooh, lps billy squire mm, that one got a wet new addition that's decent ah man why do these look all moldy though maybe not all just some of them Disco gold, hit explosion, alright, 45's here, okay, Eddie Grant, 
Oh, Skaggs. Yeah, that's that's all right. Ooh, what's that? Duran Duran. Yep. The reflex. Okay, that is a little decent. A little bit. Definitely some sellable merch there with the records. Ooh, I'm running out of spots. Okay, I want to get into this. Let's take a break from our video real quick and let's talk about whatnot. This Wednesday at 4 p.m., we are gonna be auctioning up some amazing items from this current locker. And we start everything at $1 starts. You are not gonna to wanna to miss it. It's a variety show and we're gonna have all sorts of great items. And if you haven't signed up for one up before, use our link. You get a $15 credit. That's awesome. So join us this Wednesday, 4 o'clock Pacific. Be there or be square at Locker Nuts. Okay. Underwear, undershirts, bow ties, the DKNY thing. All right. Next up. Okay, brand new polo socks there. Billy Blast, this is brand new stuff. Pierre Cardin, Givenchy. Okay, I like all the new stuff, of course. Club room, put the new stuff over there. Okay, and then what do we got here, guys? Can't read it. That looks like a decent watch, though. Another watch, this one feels cheap. And Kenneth Cole, that one's nice. Nice leather band, that's a nice one. So we got a couple that look nice and one that's cheap. But still, we got three watches there. Whoa, look at this. A whole bunch of stamps right here. Hmm, we have not done very well with stamps in our um, auctions. So I'm not, I'm not thinking that's like a great find, but still, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. More brand new socks. Hat fashion. Some more brand new ones. Made in Korea. Stafford. DKNY. I'm just gonna put all the brand new ones aside. Grand Prix. Bring them to the flea market. We'll put those brand new ones in the auction. Everything else is gonna go to the flea market, but I don't want to bring brand new ones to the flea market. You know? They won't pay for them there. It's too nice. DKNY. Donna Karen. Eyewear. I don't know what this stuff is. It's all like work related. Cellular. Um, there's some Calvin Klein. There's some plain white tees. Samsung. Not too exciting. Okay, last one. Underwear. Just what I want to do. Handle a guy's underwear. Okay. Tommy jeans. Tommy jeans right there. It's a little worn out though. It's a brand new jockey underwear. Calvin Klein. That's a nice belt. That's brand new too. So you know what that means. Put it aside. The rest of it. These these underwears here are brand new, but hmm. Well, they're tidy whities They're fifty one cents. Why do they not look new? Why do those look yellowed? Huh? They're new with tags though. Weird. What the heck, guys? As if it weren't gross enough with the dead mouse, which I did clean up. Rat poop everywhere. Look at this thing. What the heck? That's just a humongous beetle. I mean, look at my fingertip next to it. Gross. Hey, this box smells good. Why does it smell so good? Good luck, ancient clay natural soap. This smells good in here. We got some soaps, moisturizer, lilac, incense. There we go. That's why it smells. Oh, what is this? Clay bath, skin detox. Huh. Oh, wow. Look at this ancient clay natural soap. Zion Health. Huh. This is kind of interesting. Thank you for your order, Suzanne. Okay, this is a guy's locker. There's a lady's name. This stuff, maybe we could sell this. This, I don't know. It seems nice. Okay. <laughs> Fine China, Mikasa. All right, that's good. Kaboom! All-purpose stain remover. Kaboom! Yeah, we've seen that on TV for sure. Kaboom! Brand new, I think. All right. We'll bring that home and see if it kabooms like it's supposed to. Glass cleaner, shout. Okay, 
cleaning supplies all good for the flea market. They love it out there. They love it. Look under here. Got some big boxes down here. Hmm. And this is a table right here. Some fancy legs. Looks heavy. What's this? Looks like some old portraits. Oh, the same, same picture twice. Black and I don't know. Look at this. It's cracked. This bat is cracked. Hmm. Huh. Just wonder if there's a significance to that crack. Oh, it's hollowed out. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, some little decorative stuff in here. Yeah, that'll go to the market, right? Let's go to the market. I don't think there's any use for those, but yeah, I don't know. This they actually look kind of nice, like high quality nice. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe for a crafter, there's a little value there, perhaps. Okay, what else we got in here, guys? Bombay Company, thirty-five dollars. It says Ruben Watch and Cuff Link Keeper. So I think it's a little watch case. Yes. I'm not going to open that actually. Well, probably should. We're going to sell that for sure in our auction. In that whatnot auction I was telling you about. That is definitely something that will go there. Perfect. Pure beauty. Oh, yeah. All right. Wave coasters. More Bombay Company stuff. Look at that. It's like a wave. It's got like a, looks like a leather, but it's just a soft for your glass, you know? Got a whole set of those. Nice. Okay. It's a little different. Badger brush shaving set. Looks like the shaver came off. That's a nice little set. Another uh, $6.25 on clearance here, but that's kind of, kind of neat for a Christmas present or whatever. Brand new power strip. Game parlor. Macy's. That's cool. Okay, I got the light on. It was the light bulb was sitting right there. I'm not sure why, but it uh, works. Definitely helps see a little better in here. Let's dig into some more stuff. Man, the guy seemed to like spending. A lot, a lot of stuff. Sephora scent sampler. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, very nice. 53 bucks. Is that right? I have a feeling maybe this was a freebie or something. Gift the purchase maybe? I don't know. More towels right here. Okay, I'll put that in the towel bag. <laughs> bags and bags. Coffee. Towels. Some kind of catalog. More towels, some Kleenex. <laughs> it's a little, oh, Tom Ford. A little sampler of fragrance. All right. A little bit more towels, pajamas or something. Power cord. I'm gonna actually put that aside. Might need that for the TV. Meslin shoes, those are used. They look decent, more Kleenex. The bags right here. Okay, there's those hooks that uh, they showed in the box, as shown on TV, stuff. Okay, more underwear. Oh, got his driver's license. Okay. Starbucks gift card. Some stamps, 34 cents each. Centennial Olympic Games partner, 1996, a little pin. All right, well, the rest looks like garbage. What's in here? Oh, okay. Starbucks gift cards. Woohoo! Okay. 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 We have to check those. Next step. Slide dupes. That's the same as the other slides. 
Don't know what these are. It does not look very interesting. All right, the Ziplocs we're going to take home. Large trash bags. We'll use more Ziplocs. Gallon size, very good. Keep that. Rechargeables, maybe. Maybe good. Palette Lust. Paulette Lust. A bow tie, brand new. There's a brand new tie. Okay. There's a gift box. Lindy Bowman. Okay, put that aside. More heel lifters there. <laughs> Heel savers. Oh, it's for men's and women's flat heels, okay? Shoe polish. A little bit more stamps right here. Don't overlook stamps, guys. I mean, if they're forever stamps, these are not. They're three cent stamps, but okay, well, I'll, I'll get that later. But if, if they're forever stamps, they're worth over 50 cents each now. A bunch of keys for something. Okay, what's next? FedEx box, heavy, and I think it's sealed. <laughs> Never opened. All right, what, what do you get it from FedEx? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Paper work. Planet Cellular, some kind of ooh, trademark office. Uh, whatever. whatever. It wasn't important enough for him to open ever so it's not important enough for me to hold on to uh, empty box air mattress would have been nice oh, there's a nice little piece right here i think it does it match that piece no but it's still kind of the same style well wow, guys look at these rats have made a mess out of this place but luckily most of the clothes are in bags you see up here there's some stuff that is exposed and that's probably going to go to the dump unfortunately but it's still really gross Still gross to deal with. All right, this is another one of the items I could see when we bid, and I liked it. Iowa, that's in there. It's used, but you know, sometimes these can have a little bit decent value. Let's look this one up. CD Boombox CSD-A110. Here's a Dell box, probably for one of those laptops we found. Yeah, it's empty though. Still, this makes a great... Gosh, is that really rat poop floating around in there? Jeez. There's something else in here too though. I think. Maybe not. Oh, there's this. The Dell software. And there's this. The power cord. Okay, we definitely need the power cord. Another Dell box. <laughs> Check it out. Never been opened. Never opened. Let's see what it is. USB printer cable and... Oh, toner. Okay. That, that might have a little value. As long as it's not expired, it probably has a little bit of value to it. Wow, this is nice. 20 bucks, nice. Yeah, a little portfolio thing. Aaron Brothers Art and Framing. Got two of them. Those are pretty nice. All right, this looks like all shoe boxes right there. And this is looking like the shoe boxes in here too. Yep. Hmm. Man, guys, this is getting to be a little difficult just because I either have to tackle this, which I have no place to put it, or I have to, uh, I don't know what. I don't really know, but what I do know is I think it's time to wrap this video, okay? Because I do have to leave. Check out my aisle here. I made a complete mess. I don't even know where to put the stuff. I don't want to put the contaminated stuff in my van. So, so far I've only been loading in stuff that's been placed into clean bags. So I might have to like clear this out just to stack it a little better. But this is a really sloppy locker. This guy was not, not very good at this. <laughs> at the packing the storage locker business. But most people aren't, but I've seen way better than this. I've seen way worse than this too, right? We all have, right? You watch the videos, you've seen it. In fact, the recent one I got for a dollar, that big 10 by 30, that thing was packed about as terrible as they ever, ever come. So, um, but this one, next time I come here, I definitely have to bring bins. And I think I need to bring my trailer because uh, I don't want to put this stuff in my van. It's gross, the rat poop stuff is gross. And yeah. 
I hope you had a great time. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this, because I did. Stay tuned. Till then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Bacchanal.